I know, it doesn't look that good. This is a very messy setup I have here currently, and it all started from when I changed my desk into a standing desk. And with that comes a lot of challenges, including cable management, because once you have the desk raised like this, you're able to see a lot of the cables that were normally hidden by the desk. So today we're gonna be going through a bunch of different options you can do to clean up your cables, whether it's standing or sitting. Uh, either way, these will be applicable, and we're gonna see if we can clean this setup a bit and make it look a lot prettier. So the biggest thing we're gonna be changing first is where we have all of our power and USB cables running to. Currently, you can see they're all just kind of lumped up to the side of my computer and they all run out separately. And then below here, we actually have the power strip mounted to the wall, which originally was a good idea before I made it a standing desk. And now it is completely out in the open for everyone to see and all the power cables running. So we're gonna first mount that power strip to the bottom of the desk so all the cables can run under it and stay with the desk as it raises and lowers with only one cord going to the power strip and that's all you see. The second thing we're gonna be doing is using a USB 3.0 hub so I can have all my devices plugged in on the bottom of my desk and then only one USB cable running to my computer to hopefully alleviate what you're seeing right in that corner there. So instead of all that, we're just gonna have one cable. Let's go ahead and route all of our USB cables into this. Let's get it mounted to the bottom of the desk as well as all the power cables and I have a couple other tools here I'm gonna show off. Let's get started. All right, so let's go through some of the stuff we're gonna be using to help cable manage the entire desk. To start, obviously we have some zip ties, those are always useful. I have a couple USB extension cables and these are actually USB 3.0 extension cables, just in case some of the runs don't make it as well. Um, it gives you a little more leeway on where you can actually make your runs. We have double-sided tape here for sticking our power strip in our USB hub. And then we have just regular Gorilla tape here if you just need to tie down some of the ends, like say it was a cable that was hanging, you could just tape it up so it would stop moving. And Gorilla tape is really strong. Um, over here, the last two items we have, some cable trays here. So this is actually where we're gonna actually run most of the cables. This has double-sided sticky tape on the bottom. So that is going to stick to the bottom of the desk. And then we can put all the extra cables inside this tray. And lastly, we're gonna get to this one a little later, but this is basically a box if you want to use it for your power strip. And again, guys, all this stuff will be in the description if you wanted to check out any of these tools that I'm using. Uh, the main ones I prefer, Double-sided tape is a must for mounting power strips and whatnot. And then these, there's many different types, but I like these specifically because they come with the tape on the back and they kind of bend. So it's pretty easy to squeeze a lot more um, cables in there if you need to. All right, so let's get started with the power supply and getting all our power cables mounted underneath the desk. And while I was at it, I actually also mounted the power supply to my actual lift desk on the side here with the lift desk stand. As I lower the desk, everything now stays together. So we don't have any of the more of those cables that are sagging and getting tighter and sagging as I go up and down with the lift desk. Let's move on to the USB hub here and get all of our devices connected to it and have its cable run to the computer. And for the one cable that we actually have running from the hub to the computer, I actually have it routed underneath my desk and up the leg of the desk so you actually don't see it at all. Now having all the USB cables actually hang off the desk, we're gonna have a lot of extra cable length. So this is where this J channel comes into play. and we can tuck them all inside this channel and I can mount this to the bottom of the desk.
Now, Tega was actually nice enough to reach out to me and send me this product for free to check out. Unfortunately, for my build right now, it doesn't really make a lot of sense as all of my stuff is mounted underneath the desk to hide it completely. So I would recommend maybe trying this in a living room setting, perhaps, but in my desk setting, it just doesn't work for this build. But if you're interested in that kind of product, I'd say go ahead and give them a look. They're really nice, and I hope you guys can find some of their products useful. Another great little tool I used in this build are these reusable zip ties. So you just anchor them to any point on the desk and you can undo and redo them as much as you'd like. So this will save you some time if you accidentally zip tie stuff down and end up adding in some more cables later. All right, y'all, that's it for this video. If you had any questions or concerns, leave below in the comments, or if you had any tips for me to improve my setup as it is right now, I'd love to hear them. If you haven't already subscribed, please be sure to do that, and I'll see you guys in the next one.